All right, what is up YouTube? So today I'm gonna to be going on a little rant because I've seen a lot of ban list prediction videos and I always see a uh, semi-limited list doesn't matter. It's pointless, they should just get rid of it. Oh, uh, this, oh, uh, that about the semi-limited list. And I feel like that's just a really bad take. Like, yeah, probably cards should go to one, but at the same time, there's sometimes cards that are pretty new, like something like Nadir Servant, that, yeah, you probably don't want to hit it to one because you're still selling it in the Megatons, but putting it down to two is better than just not touching it at all. That's just an example. It's not like Nadir Servant is like the super problematic card of the format. But when I want to look at like a semi-limited list or what a semi-limited list should be like, I look at the OCG. If you look at the OCG, the OCG really takes advantage of the semi-limited list and what it should be. It's a lot of these power cards that are not necessarily like top tier, or if they're top tier, they're just, you know, trembling down, you know, the system. They're going from, you know, uh, unlimited to semi-limited, then to limited. I feel like that's one reason why a card should go 2-2 Another reason is just like a deck that's like super, super consistent, something like um, Invoke Dogmatica that has so many one card starters like Alistair, Meltdown, Nadir Servant, like if they play Red Eyes, Red Eyes Fusion, like, like putting those cards to semi-limited is not bad, especially if you put multiple of those cards at, you know, two, you put Nadir Servant at two, you put like Invocation to two, you put like Alistair to two, you put Meltdown to two, like multiple different cards. This is just an example. It's not like, again, I, I don't think like Invoke Dogmatica is like broken or anything. That's just an example. But when you triple down uh, on the consistency of these decks by just semi limiting a bunch of cards instead of just like hitting the, the problematic card or the card that would just like kill the deck, because again, the semi limited list should be for more of. Not the tier one decks, but more of the like the tier two decks that are going to be problematic in the future um, to kind of like trickle down on it. The example I'm trying to give in this video is something like Dinosaurs. I feel like Dinosaurs is a deck that has a lot of consistency, a lot of power. But if you really, you know, put Mist to one or you put like Mist to zero, it's going to kill the deck. The deck is going to be unplayable. And while I agree that, like, I, I hate Dinosaurs, I don't like that deck being in the format, it's still, like, it's really detrimental to these players that kind of invested in something like uh, Crocosaur, not the Crocosaur, um, the level one Dinosaur, the Animador Archosaur card, and having that just go to zero or go to one with something like Miss, like, it's just, like, heartbreaking. So to kind of compromise for that change is that you should instead semi-limit Fossil Day, semi-limit, you know, uh, Lost World, semi-limit, you know, Ovi Raptor, semi-limit Baby Sarasaurus. So like the consistency is boosted down to where like the deck is more bricky. Because the thing about Dinosaurs is, yeah, Misk is a very, very unfair card. Like Misk is very susceptible to hand traps, something like Lancia, something like Ash, Gamma, like many different cards just deal with Miss. And if you try to kind of triple down on the consistency or trickle down, I think that's what the term is, uh, trickle down on the consistency, it kind of helps you deal with dinosaurs without, you know, necessarily killing the deck. Now, I'm going to show you the statistics. Shout out to the D-Links meta for having, you know, the statistics of opening up um, a three or a two of in the deck or one of in the deck. So... This is a 40 card deck, as you see, 40 card, five card hand, uh, the number of, you know, cards in your deck, and then the, the minimum, the maximum. Uh, so uh, the chance of you opening up a three up is a 33.8% chance. Now, if you trickle that down to two, that goes down almost 10%, pretty much 10.1% if it goes from two, um, three to two. So... People saying like, oh, semi-limited doesn't do anything. That's a 10% chance. That is a 
percent chance uh, like the people that say like oh you should play three desires over you know two because it's uh more probability of you drawing like three it's the same thing for semi unlimited cards like if you put the the unlimited card to two there's a less probability of you drawing that card and it's a 10 percent chance like i do not understand this whole argument of the semi-limited list not making sense because as you see 10% is a big percentage. And if you limit a bunch of the, um, you know, cards in the archetype, like Misk and uh, Baby Sarasaurus, Lost World, Fossil Dig, like it really trickles down on the consistency and it just makes the deck a lot more inconsistent without kind of killing the deck. And that is like another thing. Another thing is, you know, as I said before, Cursed Outline is another example of a card that's not necessarily like super broken, but hurting the consistency of a deck like uh, Eldritch that is going to be much better with the ban list, banning BFD, maybe even hitting Drytron, maybe even hitting Dragon Link. You kind of want to touch down on something like Eldritch that is still pretty strong in the format, just not as dominant as something like Virtual World and Drytron. So hitting something like Scarlet uh, to uh, two, hitting Curse Outlink to two, hitting Conquestador to two, it trickles down the consistency of the deck, opening up that Conquestador or that Sanguine or the Cursed Eldland. Even something like Extravagance going to two. Yeah, you still have like Prosperity to kind of replace it, but you're still trickled da um, trickling down on the consistency of the deck and the chances of opening up those cards so it's like a 10 percent chance for each of these cards going down so having a less chance of seeing this card or seeing multiple of these cards is just a really good idea for the semi-limited list another thing that is really good about the semi-limited list is for cards that are like turboed out like max three up you, you remember like in 2016 i remember Beatrice was being spammed out on the board. Beatrice, Dante, you'd make like triple Beatrice, triple Dante, like it would be on the field. Like having something like Beatrice be at one was really good. Or having it go to two is really good because you're seeing less copies of that card you would make three of in a normal duel. Something like Totally Awesome, Totally Awesome and Paleo Frogs. You make three of these in a duel. Maybe in, you make this card like four or five times in a duel. Uh, having this card go to two was really good back in 2016. It's the same thing with something like Dragon Buster. It going to two was like a big deal because the difference between two and three is just really, really big, especially for the grind games. So a lot of people, you know, suggesting that like the semi-limited list doesn't matter. It shouldn't happen. Uh, also argue that something like Ben 10 should go to like one or or BFD to go to one, or Block Dragon to go to one. These are the same people that are saying like the semi-limited list doesn't matter. Why would you ever in your life say Block Dragon should go to one? Why? Why would you defend this card that is absolutely dominating the format, warping the format, BFD the same thing as well? Why would you ever say something like BFD should stay at one or go to two or something like that? It does not make sense. The same people, the same people that say that the semi-limited list doesn't matter are the same people that are saying like, put Calamities to one or put Block Dragon to one, put Ben 10 to one, put, you know, Hollow Firebrax to two or something like that. Something stupid. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me that a lot of these people in the community just ignore the semi-limited list as, you know, the statistics shows you. The statistics shows you that you have a 10% less of a chance of opening up that three of that is now at two of, especially if you hit multiple of those cards. So that is my rant. Let me know what you guys think about these videos. Uh, I like doing these type of videos because sometimes I just kind of talk into my head and just like, Ugh, this is frustrating. I don't want to start drama or something like that, but I still want to, you know, give my opinions out there. Uh, but I've ranted on long enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my rant. Uh, give me your guys' opinion on the semi-limited list. I kind of ranted this on in my Discord or in the Discord that I share with a lot of people in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out.
Peace.